Well, it's that time, guys. What is up guys we are back with another co-part walk around i want to give a special thanks and shout out uh to corporate over in dallas and uh major shout out to the local yard here in uh north carolina for uh, you know allowing us to come through here and see it it's kind of crazy right now they uh they do have the yard back open for you know people to be able to walk around and stuff so um you do need to wear protective stuff which you guys will see me with here in a minute but uh yeah i just wanted to give them a special uh thanks and shout out for getting all my stuff worked out and allowing us to uh get back into here and you know, not just be in Florida or uh, Tennessee or other places, but, you know, to be able to do this while we're at home, too. So, sweet. Let's get into it. Say it with me. Toasty! Toasty! That Impala is roasted. Roasted. Now, whew, next to all of this carnage... We have this uh, BMW 535 that I'm highly interested in. We'll have to see if this is something uh, I want to pick up. Now, this is on the list for this week, and I believe I've seen this before. Yeah, there's some carnage everywhere around here today. And some more toasty carnage. Toasty. It looks like it's got a wasp nest in it. Wow. Uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, man. Which makes me want to look at this Mercedes S-Class. 116,000 miles AMG brake calibers. Is it an actual AMG, though? It says S65 on it. <sighs> we need to look and see ooh, if it actually is. An AMG and it looks like it is. Do we have power? Nope. Dead as a doornail. What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? Yeah, I know I look like I look ridiculous today, but I don't have a choice. I'm just trying to protect myself a little better out here, guys. So interior on this one looks good. Doesn't look too terribly bad. I could see uh oh look, and there's the piece of the what is that, the fender? Yeah, there's the fender from the front right there. So, I mean, everything is here with this. It just doesn't have any power. 116,000 miles. It's got the Alcantara uh, ceiling and stuff. This is actually very nice. The nice diamond stitching. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could see myself interested in this one. Oh! <sighs> You know, with this uh, damage here in the front, it's not actually too bad. So, we have to see. We have to see, man. I'll take a look at this one. You know, the auction is coming up on Monday. Um, I mean, on Tuesday. It might be one that I'm highly interested in. We'll just have to wait and, and see what happens. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Now, I've actually seen the two vehicles I wanted to see here. And now we have to go to the other yard. So let's uh, get a move on, get some walking in, and make that happen. So I'm going to do that. Oh, hey, that Jaguar's back. Y'all remember that Jaguar from, uh, what, two months ago, three months ago, with the side smashed? I think they sold it, and it, someone run, is running it back through. Huh. <sighs> all right guys so we are leaving copart this copart now 
and we are on our way to another Copart. So I, I, I really came out here today because I really wanted to see that S-Class and just get a basic look for it. You guys will get a full overview of that car here soon. Um, and I needed to check in with the, uh, the big purpose of today was I wasn't doing any filming really out here today. I just needed to check in um, with the manager and stuff out here today to uh, get everything, um, you know, get everything sorted out and stuff for how uh, I'll be doing videos and stuff at this location moving forward. So major shout out to them again. Major shout out to uh, to the whole staff and the team out here at Copart for uh, working with me and uh, allowing me to do what I do, man. All right, so... I know, someone's going to yell at me for that too, right? So uh, now we got to go to a, another Copart, which is going to take us a little bit because uh, I have a couple of vehicles that are coming up uh, on Tuesday that I'm highly interested in, but I thought... Being that we've got rid of a couple of vehicles that we should get into a profit and loss section. That's right. Uh, a full, you know, breakdown of vehicles that were won and what has happened with them. So we've already really talked about the Jeep, right? Now the Jeep sold. I ended up after everything was said and done and fuel, getting it towed down. Uh, that was about a $700 profit. So that was a win. The Nissan truck. I know you guys are probably like, well, why would I sell that? Well, I thought about it. I was like, what do I do with it? And it's just taking up space. The Nissan truck sold. Profit on that vehicle, $850. So I actually did really good on that truck. And um, I got to say, that's probably one that was easy to get. I really didn't do anything to it. And boom, it was gone. Now, I've had people banging me out say, yo what are you doing what happened with the bmw what are you doing with the bmw what happened with the bmw what are you doing with the all right so i have an announcement there's another i got contacted by another youtube channel and they do and they got started around the same time i did like two three years ago right in the automotive space i think it was like three years ago and they do nothing but bmw content right specifically you know like he started with his m5 and that's all he's he's done right so he reached out and he was like, look, I, I know you just got this V12. He was like, I really want that V12. And I was like, nah, that's for me. It ain't going nowhere. I'm, I'm going to ride this thing till the wheels fall off. And then he made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. So did I make any money <laughs> on the BMW? I think so. I mean, it's not physical cash. But I'm going to be collaborating with a channel that has around 240,000 subscribers uh, on this. And we're literally going to be doing a, a pink slip swap. I'm going to swap them uh, the 7 Series BMW. And they are giving me an E39 BMW manual. Because, you know, that's how they came. M5. Full disclosure, there are a couple things that the M car does need. It needs... a uh, timing chain guides which is very common on any v8 uh e39 you know if you got that v8 engine timing chain guides is normal luckily this is one of the older motors so it doesn't have like the valve issues the smoking and all this other crap it's really just the timing chain guides you do that and it's not everybody tries to make it seem like it's this big massive repair it's gonna cost all this money to fix and not really man they had just did he just said just did a clutch on it uh, like 6,000 miles ago, so the clutch is brand new, and the car is under 150,000 miles. I could I couldn't ask for more. Now, is it just, is it just a straight swap? Because I made it sound like I'm just swap <laughs> I'm just swapping one car for another, right? Nah. Um, I've been looking for a manual E39 M5 for a while since I rebuilt mine and sold it way back here on this channel, and. Um, boy have I regretted that ever since so I'm happy to announce that I'm getting this at a pretty you know like these cars now these manual M5s in good condition with good you know low mileage and all the rest of it man them freaking things are going for 25 30 grand now so the fact that I'm only going to have to put out about 9 grand with my car I feel is a hell of a deal 
Now I'm getting it for a little bit less because I need to do the timing chain guides, but of course I got somebody else doing it. You know, it's going to be done. It's going to have a pre-purchase inspection, a PPI done on it before I make the swap. Of course, in case there's a bunch of other stuff. Not to say that this YouTube channel is like trying to get me. I'm not saying that at all. But you know, you got to be you got to be cautious. You gotta you gotta you know be smart about things. So with that said, um, everything is straight. Uh, you guys will be seeing, I'm going to put all that on video. Like they're actually, we're actually meeting somewhere in the middle. So I will be in Tennessee here soon and you guys will get to see that spot between the cars. So I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are excited about it. Um, let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so we are in the building once we clear this gate. Ooh. All right, let's get in. So, major shout out to Gopart for the social distancing thing. They now, when you come in, you scan a QR code with the app, and then you just wait outside for you to come into the counter to do what you need to do. It's kind of cool. All right, guys, we're back in. Now we got a few vehicles to take a look at today. What I do love about this place is they put everything in one area that is available for you guys to see. So it makes it a lot easier when you're looking at vehicles to see, you know, what's available to purchase, what you want to purchase. You don't have to go running all around. Every place is different. Every single yard is different. No two are the same in my experience but i have a couple i want to take a look at today <sighs> one of them is this tahoe on this back line over here you guys will see this gold one as we walk up all right Alright, alright, alright. Looks pretty good all around. I'm wondering, I know it's dropped 404,000 miles. Now we didn't see that. I didn't see that on the listing itself. 404,000 miles. That is ridiculous. Sorry, I don't mean to cover it. Wow. Well, I guess let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. Let's see what see what 400,000 miles looks like on a vehicle like this, shall we? <laughs> okay. By the way, if you didn't know, but Dussie shirts are available over on the store. You can get those on the merch store here on the channel. I can say that because this one just smells like old diapers <laughs> it doesn't smell bad i'm trolling it doesn't smell bad i mean it has a smell to it but it's not like i'm gonna die smell this one is completely dead yeah i mean it was it's kind of ragged out but you know it is it does have the monitor this is the nicer version of this tahoe i'm betting you it's got a 5.3 v8 in it Bose sound system on deck. Let's take a look. If I can get the damn thing, there we go. Yep. That's what it looks like. Battery looks like it's ancient and dead. And this has the 5.3 liter V8 in it, the Vortec, yeah. I know this engine well. It's not the same as the Ecotec. This is exactly the same as the engine I had in the uh, 
and the envoy. There's cobwebs and everything in here. This one's in bad shape. But hey, I mean, it can't be too bad. For those that say, you know, a lot of these older GMs aren't reliable, they're smoking crack. 400 and something thousand miles is pretty respectable if you ask me. But hey. Next on my list is a giveaway car candidate. This is a Chevy Malibu. Now, in the pictures, the damage didn't look too terrible. It really didn't. It didn't look like, you know, it was the end of the world. Yeah, I can see a fender there, a hood, definitely the plastics in the front. The coolant stuff doesn't, you know, I don't see damage to the radiator. We'll have to see when we open it up. But that fender looks like it's fine. You know, plastic bumper, hood, and a fender. This could be a decent giveaway car. 103,000 miles on the clock. Nice chromed out wheels. Cloth interior. Oh, looks like the other headlight is here. Ooh, squeeze in here. Whoo, okay. Is there any such thing as like a <clears throat> toothpaste, but does he smell? Ooh, look at that thing is sticky. Ooh. Okay. Oh, we got power. Whoa, 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 whoa. Off. Stop trying to kill my battery. Full tank of gas. What do you guys think? Start or no start? Runs and drives, as the listing says. Looks good to me. Let's check the AC. Turn the AC on. Ace, I heard the compressor click. See if we get any cold air out. This one right here might not be bad, guys. This right here might not be bad, man. This, this, this could work. This could work. Now, I posted recently on Facebook, and this week, sometime this week, I am going to pick and try to finalize the give the giveaway vehicle. So, you guys will get to see that here very soon. I will have that answer for you guys here very, very soon. Now, it is running a little rough, but I can hear the coolant fans and everything is working. It's not running hot. Like I said, it looks like it's purely cosmetic on this car, which means, you know, more than likely this car is probably going to go for some money, but it's probably not going to be too expensive. You know, the headlight is right here, and it's completely reusable. It is not completely just shot and broken. So, I could definitely, definitely, uh, I could definitely see me picking this one up. 103,000 miles, clean it up, fresh hood, fresh fender, put the headlight in it, and we give this one away. Would, would you guys want this one? What do you guys think? I don't know. I think this could be a good giveaway car, personally. But, I mean, it is it is up to you guys. I think we're going to pick a couple. We're going to let you guys vote. It's going to be the car that we push the most money towards as the giveaway car. And then we're going to fix it up and make it nice for you. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the trunk and the rest of the car. All right. So, my people in New Jersey would appreciate this. Now I'm just teasing. Oh, look. We got cleats. It comes with some Under Armour cleats. So I'm going to assume someone played football, a.k.a. soccer. Ooh. Let's take a look under here. Full-size spare. Scratched up CD. Or not a full-size spare, but a spare tire. Interior of the trunk looks really good, guys. You know? I mean, this is typical stuff that you see with this build-up and this other crap that you're going to see in these cars. But nothing that would cause me to be concerned. Everything else on this thing looks good. And the fact that it has the really nice chrome rims, the tires all match, they look good all the way around. Now, my only concern is I don't think I can get the hood to open, you know, because of the damage. It's kind of locked in place. So I'm going to, that's going to be such a pain in the ass to cut free. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. If it goes for the right money, I would just cut it free. I wouldn't care. It didn't run hot. I let it run for a while, and it was uh, perfectly fine. So, but let me know what you guys think. All 
Next, guys, we have this 2004 Honda Accord EX in black. Has 194,000 miles on it. Why is it here? Rear end damage. That doesn't look too terrible. I'd we'll have to get under it and see if the frame is bent. But it doesn't look bad. doesn't look too terrible as far as the damage huh and I'm guessing the trunk won't close now because of that right but that's an easy fix that's just that's probably just a, a thing all right let's take a look at the rest of the car let's go around the other side see if we see any other damage mirror side mirrors busted listed as a run and drive how does it smell? Smell test? No, I'm just kidding. All right, how does it smell? Ugh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, this? <laughs> okay. Someone's going to say this is a TK special. I, I wouldn't do <laughs> I would never do this. Just so we're clear. Does it light up? No, oh, she's dead. Damn, I wanted to see. It's listed as a run and drive. But I wanted to hear it run and drive. Everything else in the interior isn't too bad. I wouldn't mind taking a chance on this one. I, this this right here makes makes my day though. This is hilarious. Look, you can see someone tried to super glue. <laughs> someone tried to super glue the airbag thing back in, and then they put Velcro things, which is cool if you want to like stick it. Like you could stick a tablet or something like right there on the. Steering wheel, that'd be kind of boss. Buff. They wilding with this one right here, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. This one, this one right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to be laughing so hard, but it's just. <laughs> this one, this is, this is killing me, man. Whoo. All right. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. All right. Let's get to the hood. Let's take a look at the motor. <clears throat> and then I got, oop, I got a Maxima to show you guys. I had to take the hoodie off my head for a second. I was sweating. I was getting hot, boy. I definitely don't want to get overheated out here. That's for damn sure. All right. VTEC 2.4 overhead cam. Battery looks shot. Does it have a date on it? Yeah, 4 of 17. Yeah. Battery time. 5W20. Belt looks good. The engine doesn't look horrible, man. It doesn't look horrible. I like this, too. This was pro this is probably one of my favorite oil checks, oil pulls. And let's see. Let's get it in the sunlight. Oil looks damn good, man. No metal flakes, no nothing. I bet you it's listed as a run and drive. It's got 200,000 miles on it, but I bet you this motor is just damn fine. You know what I'm saying? God, I love these Honda. Oh, did I put it in backwards? There we go. I love that oil check thing. That's awesome. I don't know, man. This one's definitely going to be on my list. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a giveaway car candidate. It might be a, you know, car for a family member candidate. I have a couple family members that need cars right now. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Someone said this is going to buff out. This one's going to buff out. <laughs> All right. Here we go, guys. 2017 Chevy Camaro LT. Let's take a look at it. Not a bad. You know, it doesn't look nasty. But I wonder, I don't know what the motor is in the LT. Let's take a look. 26,000 miles on it airbags are deployed everywhere cloth interior is it dead yeah no power ah. it says 50 right there okay I mean it's not horrible I mean this is clearly a, one of the base models it's an LT I don't know what motor that has 
And unfortunately, I probably can't get the hood open to show you, but this one's actually sitting really cheap right now. And at 26,000 miles, if it's a V8, the powertrain alone might be worth it, possibly. I don't know. Let's look at the engine. So here's the engine, guys. We've got the belts and stuff in there. Everything looks good here. The engine doesn't look like it took any damage at all. But there's really no way for me to tell what kind of motor this is. I don't know. You guys, you guys will roast me in the comments and tell me what the hell it is. Which is bringing me to my next item on my list, a Dodge Ram. I've seen so many of these things. This one is a 2012 with 162,000 miles on it. Now, it is kind of sitting funny. So we probably should go around and look at it. SLT 4x4. Okay, we got a flat over here. This might be why it's sitting down. But outside of that, she looks pretty good. Let's take a look at it. Oh, wow. All right. I've seen these before, these uh, speakers. Remember that Tahoe from a couple weeks back? These tweeters, they put them everywhere, you know? Oh, wow, what is this? Some kind of uh, system or thing. Got wires out everywhere. I don't know what the hell this is, but let's open this up and see what it is. Okay, it takes batteries. I bet you it's some kind of LED lighting system. I bet. Let me put that back in. It's just sitting on the thing here. That's weird. Keys are in, and of course she's dead. A lot of dead cars here today, man. Power acoustics. You got these speakers, these... uh tweeters pretty much everywhere throughout the cab you got one over there but you got some in the rear too so this thing probably got a nice nice sound to it i bet it's pretty loud you know cleaned out here hey man i mean overall this 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 dodge doesn't look too bad i mean it really doesn't it's got some weird tape material on here as kind of a trim up oh, there's another one of those tweeters up there it's not horrible oh they got an instagram page we should go look at that on the back window y'all can head up to your instagram and let them know we found their found their truck all right well now we're gonna go take a look at some other stuff guys look at this one right here omaha nebraska Nebraska. I'm trying to think. It says no boundaries. Do they have a big ass lake in Nebraska? This is an ocean faring vessel. I don't know. Damn the particles on that bitch. Wow. I know. I apologize in the wind, guys. There's nothing we can do. It's literally blowing like ridiculous out here. Now I know y'all. You guys will be like. Do it, TK. Go, go in the RV. Go in the RV, damn it. <laughs> Man, luckily for me. Oh, shit. Is that stuck? Oh, yeah. All right, mask's time. Oh, yeah, there's fiberglass and stuff everywhere. Nope, I am not going to be itching. All day for y'all, man. I'm sorry. Here's a good look. And it does smell like raw ass in there. Woo! Oh, thank you. All right. Oh, man. My mask is screwing up. I got to put my head, head thing back on. Damn it. That is one of the rules. Like, we have to keep the damn head thing on. Oh. All right, I'm back in. Damn, why does my head look like a penis? I need <laughs> Alright, we're back in. I got my sunglasses hanging on my on my pants right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at some more vehicles. Alright. Well, 
Oh, look at this X3. I don't know what it is about BMWs. I got two right here side by side I want to look at. Airbag. Oof. Suspension. Fender. Hood. Front bumper. Headlight. Oof. This might be getting to the point where unless this is like a $100 car, it will not be worth buying. Oh, and all kinds of mold. Yep, no, I'll pass. I'm freewheeling at this point, guys. This is the last one I really have on the list. And this is a BMW M5. Now, you guys know I am a M5 fanatic. Wow, this one took a really bad smash right here in the front. Holy crap. Look, you can see where it came right out. Whew. Okay. Oh, it took one here, too. Ah, that fender shot. So many, man. So many smashed things here. This M5, though, man. It is digital. Yeah, it's not listed as a runner, non-runner. Yeah. I don't know. It would be a good parts car, maybe, for another M5. Especially if you got one that got hit in the rear. But I don't know if I could use it. I just, I don't see it. This next one right here, though. Mm, 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 mm. Look at this. This is probably a 550 or a 535 with the M Sport package. Okay. 2011 528. 528? Not with that package. Yeah. Is it a diesel? No, wait a minute. Can't be a diesel. Bet you ain't got no keys, though. Look, got the M logo right here. M Sport package. Oh. Yep, no keys though. Look at that M logo. Damn, this mirror is all but this this uh, vent's all busted. This thing's ragged out, man. Look at this wires hanging down here. And she's dead as a doornail. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. I mean, this would be a cheap beater, you know, if you could get it for cheap. It's got the nice M looks, but it's you know small screen, which is also burned out look at that i don't even know if that shows up on camera came from a dealer <gasps> i had to say no i mean but i don't know i had to say no see what would be cool you know what would be a cool project though buying this with the m sport rims and everything if the other M rims are salvageable, put the other real M rims on here, put the M powertrain in here, and that bitch is a sleeper. You need to be crushing people. People be thinking you'd be riding a, 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 a 2.8 and you'd be beating the brakes off them. <laughs> oh boy. And carnage. Wow. That looks like a Ford. It is a Ford. Whew. That thing melted, boy. You know what, this is the one thing that concerns me about the aluminum built trucks, is when they catch on fire, like look at the body panels, they just melt, it just melts away. Damn, the rest of the truck, oh wow, did it burn over here too? Yeah, yeah. What do you want to bet the interior shot? Oh, never mind, hold on. I don't want to break any tags if they're closed. Oh wow. Okay, say it with me. Toasty, yo, the monitor, <laughs> look at the monitor. The monitor is still intact. <laughs> Whoever built that, good job, Ford. Wow. This thing is, hey, the airbag's intact. Wow. This thing is roasted, man. Holy crap. Good scrap metal, though. Some good body panels, too. Like, this bed's probably still usable. The wheels. I don't know about anything else, though. Huh. All right, guys, and the last one I want to show you guys today is this BMW X5 M Sport. It's got the M Sport wheels. It has a front end hit, but not anything that would scare me away. This would not scare me away. So 
fender, right? And you can see he, a lot of people don't know these these uh, X5s. The fenders are legit plastic. Can y'all see that? It's just plastic. So they're super easy to replace. Replace the fender. All of this stuff. Now I can see where this stuff broke, but I would. You're gonna say that that's kind of a ratchet way of fixing it, but for what you pay for it, depending on what you know, I would zip tie that all back together. I, I wouldn't even care. All right. New uh, grill piece. Oh, is the hood bent? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. But you know, oh, yeah, I see it here too. It's bent right here. But it, you know what? I don't see any creases in it. I don't know if it would be perfect, but you probably could tweak that back in. Now, I know you guys are going to say, well, what about this Ford, TK? You didn't show the roasted Ford. There's a roasted Ford, and there's a roasted Firebird. How about that? Toasty! Toasty! <laughs> All right. Let's look at this. 102,000 miles. See, and you can always tell the M Sport versions of the X5. They got the fenders that stick out. It's usually the base model ones that have the straight, flat plastic fenders. So that means this has a V8. More than likely. I don't think she has power. But let's take a look. WeatherTech uh, floor mats. Somebody was taking care of this. It's very clean in here. Yeah, she's dead. Super dead. Let's see if it lights up or does anything when we put the key in. Nope. Not at all. All right. Looks really clean, though. Nice panoramic roof. Really clean interior, if you want me to be honest. Looks really, really good. Looks really really good i thoroughly enjoy this one i like this this looks really good i don't know what do you guys think i think i think this would be a hell of a steal let me know in the comments all right guys that's gonna do it for me out here today i probably will have one more video for you guys uh later this week if you guys have any questions and or comments hit me in that comment section down below if there's a vehicle specifically in any of the areas i look at tennessee georgia florida north and south carolina let me know and if i'm in those areas i will do my best to take a look at the vehicle uh and maybe feature it in a video for you so uh just hit me up with the lot number in the comments i'll start getting generating the list and I'll take a look at some of these for you guys. So uh, sorry to be looking like I'm about to do something to a bank. But it is all about safety and protection out here. Major shout out to Copart for the new social distancing guidelines. They have a cool new system now. When you come, If you guys come out here, uh, you register with your name, uh, your phone number. And they put you in a queue so you don't, you don't have a bunch of people packed up in the lobby trying to get in. Uh, which is really good to protect their employees and really good to protect us as buyers, dealers, and things of that nature. So I really appreciate that uh, for Copart doing that as well. Again, guys, new merch is available on the channel. Go check it out in the store section here on YouTube. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one.